So here's another short little video. We're now uh, at the snake trailer. What time is it? Ish. It doesn't even matter. 8.30-ish? 9? 9? So, snake keeper. It's the same as a dog keeper. It's actually probably a little easier because your dogs don't want to... Your dogs want to jump out and play and run around and all that shit. And uh, so we've got lizards, right? Bearded dragons. So we're just feeding crickets tonight. You can see there's, there's bugs in there running around. There's a dragon, there's one down there. These guys, they're hunting. That one has one on his head right there. I'm just coming through and filling the water bowls and uh, emptying them out and making sure they've all got full, fresh water bowls just in case there is an emergency of any kind and we don't make it here tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing and you can see that one's pretty low. He's got a bunch of wood chips and shit in there. Um, but the whole snake keeper thing, everybody has this mystique of these, you know, exotic animal keepers and shit. And in reality, 90% of this reptile keeping stuff is this. Rinse bowl. Put water in bowl. Put water bowl. Back in cage. Sebastian's already gone through here. Sebastian's already gone through here and put crickets in here. So he's got all his crickets. And then that bowl's greens. We'll take those, we'll dump those, and we'll throw some fresh greens in here. That's 90% of this job. Actually, opening this cage actually has to do with less than that. About 50% of this job is just taking a fresh bowl, which we have. Here's tons of bowls. We have three bowls for every hole, every cage. So every couple weeks we'll go through, we'll dump this water and just pile all these bowls up and put brand new fresh bowls in here. That means somebody has to wash those bowls. The biggest part of this job is doing dishes, not even interacting or touching the animals. That's actually very, very minimal. The other big part of this job is sweeping the floors and getting all those wood chips and shit up and vacuuming. That's, that's the other biggest part. And really when you open these cages, it's not to reach in here and pet this little kitty. He's, he'll, he'll be all pissy. He's like, leave me alone. See him all puffed up? He's all puffed up putting a show on, show of force. He wants you to leave him alone. He's eating. So that's, that's the least of it is dealing with the animal. The biggest part is water, food, picking up shit. Every couple days when I come through here, um, I'll pull, see, we just did it. So there's like, there's no shit in here, but that, that's the other thing. You're going to just pick the shit up. Like there's no, you're not charming them. You're not doing anything with them. And then you put them together. You put the male into the female's cage. He breeds them, you leave them in there a day or two, bring them back out. She's going to lay some eggs. You're going to take those eggs and put them in the incubator and, uh, you're going to have little babies and they're cool. I mean, and each one of these dragons has a highly different personality, but that's the that's the majority of it. Like, we're here 8.30 at night, Friday night, and uh, as soon as we're done here in about 15 minutes, we're going to drive right back a quarter mile up the road to the shop, and we're going to work in that shop till midnight tonight. And that's, that's the biggest thing. When dudes are like, how do you do it? What advice? Just keep fucking doing it, man. When you don't want to do it, do it. When you're thinking about doing something else, fucking... Stand up straight, stretch, inhale, exhale, go outside and walk around for a minute, do some push-ups, whatever you got to do, but get your ass back to doing what it is that you're not wanting to do for the moment. It'll pay off. It takes time. I've been doing this 27 years. Andy Frisella, first form, has been doing his company 16 years. That's the, that's the common thing. Jack Spirico has been doing his podcast 10 years. Those dudes that I listen to and I look up to, that's the common denominator in all of them is you have to keep doing it and it's not going to happen overnight.